Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you that have pretty much any BMW guys and you get called P0700 guys. We will explain what is a common reason that we see here at the shop that causes called P0700 and how to fix that. Now, this is a very common problem guys, especially if you, care, if you uh, worked on your BMW not too long ago and we will explain why. Now, it indicates that there is a problem with the transmission communication with the transmission computer module stay with us and we'll explain what that means but most of the times don't worry it's not too big of a deal but it will take a little bit of disassembly to get to the to the thing that you need to check so we will uh, recommend uh, we'll demonstrate guys on a 3 series bmw but for instance guys this same engine in this bmw has been used in bmw x1 x3 3 series 5 series 6 and 7 series bmw even z4 guys uh, very very uh, popular engine guys so as you can see bmws okay they function almost the same way it doesn't matter if you have an x3 x5 or 3 series many of the things will work the same way so uh, before we start quick introduction to the channel every single car we get at the shop we make at least 200 free repair videos and why we do that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video guys now let me show you okay what we have here and uh, what causes that code we're going to go ahead plug the scanner diagnose the system check out our uh, main channels guys okay our repair guys then we have two secondary channels guys as well uh, on electrical car repair live you can find very helpful information for bmws how to test certain sensors that can save you quite a bit of money instead of buying parts so it's important to find your obd port that's the obd connection guys obd port open your door okay and somewhere like right here it says obd it could be under the dash depending which model bmw you have go ahead remove the cap okay now here you're going to have another cap okay that we need to unplug okay like that now i'll get the scanner okay right there. let me grab it quick and just plug this is the obd scanner port just go ahead and plug it in okay like that perfect now we're going to go inside guys i'll turn the ignition switch on without starting the car if you have the push start button do not guys press the uh, the brake pedal that way you will not start your car so insert the key and push the start button once or twice depending on the model guys so we can activate the lights that means that you have your ignition switch on now we're going to uh, check the system this scanner guys it's amazing scanner you can find the link in the description of the video below it actually works on the engine computer abs traction control and airbag computers you can do battery registration you can also do guys steering angle sensor assist very very helpful to you guys so we'll go to obd it's going to take just a little bit of time because it's going to communicate and find okay uh, which protocol the car is using in the meantime guys if you need help with anything don't hesitate to let us know leave a comment below and we'll try guys to make a video for your specific problem okay whenever we have time to do that so uh, as you can see scanner still connecting because it needs to check all the protocols that the car actually supports so it should be it should be any minute now it says codes found two but even though it says two you may even have more and i'll explain why if you have that code p0700 guys it's very likely that you have another code as well and hopefully you do we'll explain which one that will indicate that you have an easy fix guys most of the times now we will select you have two different modules that you can check number one is module module 18 we click read codes select stored codes right here guys okay i'm trying to focus here a little bit to be a little bit better perfect click on that and it says manufacturer specific codes found please select the vehicle model we select bmw code p1727 guys this code indicates that you have a problem with the uh, communication between the transmission module and the engine computer guys always check your pending codes to make sure you don't have another code there pending code is a code that has been uh, detected as a problem somewhere on your vehicle but it hasn't been there long enough to to activate the engine light or transmission light on next go to module number two which is module 12 read codes and the code that we have now here guys check it out 
will be the one that we are talking about. P0700 transmission control system and Mew requested it's the uh, transmission light to be on guys. So there is a problem there. But we have another one called P0335 crankshaft position sensor guys. So let me explain now but before that let's check. Okay for pending codes no other pending codes. So uh, if we guys okay if we look at it that way again this code guys okay for the transmission p0700 and the other crankshaft codes guys the common thing between this is that the cr crankshaft position sensor has been used by the transmission module and by the uh, engine computer because both of them need to know the rpms okay so they can adjust things uh, number two guys there uh, communicating with each other so if there is a problem with the crankshaft position sensor it's very likely that you'll get an engine light on and transmission light and called p0700 but there is something common going on with there and we'll explain okay it could be a bad sensor and if you need one we'll have the link where you can get one in the description of the video below but it could be something else as well so let me get out and show you what can cause that now so now guys we're going to go ahead and open the hood quick okay and doesn't matter which engine you have guys okay most likely the crankshaft position sensor okay especially on the six cylinder engines will be located under the intake manifold guys four and six cylinder engines most of the times will be under the intake manifold by the engine starter now if you want to see the video how to get to it we have a video that explains how to remove intake manifold on bmw i'll put the link in the description of the video below please check it out number two guys okay uh, you have to know how to disconnect your car battery and all that stuff so uh, all that video will explain that because it's very important and that way you are not going to cause damage to the engine computer and the transmission computer as well so we'll go ahead and remove ours and we'll continue so with the intake manifold removed okay right here guys this is your crankshaft position sensor this is the wire that goes to the crankshaft position sensor you can see it uh, now common thing is guys bad crankshaft position sensor but really common thing is uh, loose wire not plugged all the way in the crankshaft position sensor or a broken wiring harness and that happens very often guys when you try to put the car together install the intake manifold and you yank the wire out so that's very very common guys and you have to be okay extremely careful when you put things together and make sure that you don't yank that wire out and break the wiring harness because you will get that code for the transmission p0700 so we'll go ahead put everything together and we'll continue okay so we uh, put everything together guys everything is ready to go what i'm going to do now okay i already cleared all the codes i can even turn the computer off okay and if i go ahead and start the car okay let me show you it should be gone guys so car started and there is no engine light and transmission line on so uh, that definitely guys take care of that problem hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time